This is a medium difficulty GMAT problem solving question. I'll classify this one as a 650 level question. It's a word problem. Conceptually, it's not a very difficult question. But as with any word problem, you need to pay a lot of attention to the language, to the words of the question. Read every single word appropriately, interpret it correct, frame equations or expressions and get the answer. There are two parts to getting any word problem right. One is interpreting the question right and framing equations or expressions appropriately. The second part, which is equally important, many times we'll do the math right and we'll get an answer incorrect. We would have answered a question that's not asked. So after finding out the answer to any variable, if you're assigning a variable to this question, check out whether that variable is the answer to the question or do you have to work beyond that and get to the answer. Let's get started. In an election contested by two parties, party D secured 12% of the total votes. There are two key information right now. One, only two parties contested here. Party D secured 12% of the total votes more than party R. If party R got 132,000 votes, by how many votes did it lose the election? Look at it. What do we have to find out? We need to find out the margin of victory or the margin of defeat in this case. We need to provide the margin of defeat in number of votes. Do we have the margin of defeat in terms of percentage of votes? Yes, we have it in terms of percentage of votes. So we need to find out what 12% of the total votes translates into number of votes. What information do we have? We have the number of votes polled by party R. So in another sense, if you can find out what this 132,000 votes is in terms of percentage of votes, then we can find out whatever we intend to do. Let's get started. The key word in this question is basically this 12% of the total votes. Party D secured 12% of the total votes more than party R. Let's assign a variable. Let's assign a variable for the percentage of the total votes that party D got. Let's say that is equal to X percentage. So what will be the percentage of votes got by party R? Party R has got 12% of the total votes lesser than this. For example, if this party got 60, this would have got 60 minus 12. This party got X. So this is going to get, party R is going to get X minus 12% of the total votes. Note, this is a percentage of the total votes. This this is also a percentage of total votes because it's x percentage of the total votes minus 12 percentage of the total votes which is equal to x minus 12 percentage of the total votes. Now we know that there are only two parties. So the total number of votes polled by both these parties should be equal to all the votes that are polled. So sum of the votes scored by secured by both the parties will be equal to 100 percentage. Let's frame this equation. What's the percentage of votes got by D? That's equal to x. What is the percentage of votes got by R? That's x minus 12. So sum of these two numbers should be equal to the total percentage of votes polled, which is equal to 100. Take the 12 to the right-hand side. We'll have on the left-hand side 2x, right-hand side to be equal to 112. So x is equal to 56. What is x? The percentage of votes polled by party D. Percentage of what? Percentage of the total votes. How much did party R therefore poll? 12 percentage lesser than this, which is 56 minus 12, 44 percentage of the total votes. This is 56 percentage of the total votes. Now we'll quickly capture it till this point in a printed form. Party R got X minus 12 percentage of the total votes. So some of the votes got by both these parties should be equal to the total number of votes. So in terms of percentage, X percentage got by party D, X minus 12 got by party R is equal to 100. So we get X is equal to 56. From there, we can consequently find this number to be equal to a 44%. From this point forward, we can solve this question in two ways. I'll do the first method here and capture the second one in the next slide. First method, we know that 44% of the total votes is what party R has got. We know that translates to 132,000 votes given in the question. What we need to find out is what does 12% of the total votes translate to because that's a margin of defeat for party R. So it's a straight ratio proportion question. So let's say this is equal to a Y. So Y upon 132,000 is equal to 12 upon 44. Y upon 132,000 is equal to 12 upon 44. So Y is equal to 12 times 132,000 upon 44. 44 cancels with 132 as a 3. So it's 12 into 3,000. Y is equal to 36,000. So the margin of defeat for party R is equal to 36,000 votes. So this is method 1. In method 2, what we'll do is we'll actually split it into two parts. We'll find out the total number of votes polled. And from there, we'll find out the margin of defeat. Let's get started with the second method. 44% of the total votes is what party D polled. That's something we found out. And it polled a total of 132,000 votes. So let's say total number of votes is T. This translates to 44 upon 100 into T is equal to 132,000. T therefore is equal to 132,000 
Cross multiply this 144. The leave us with 100 in the numerator and 44 in the denominator. Cancels with 132,000 as a 3,000. So total number of votes poured is equal to 300,000 votes. 3,000 into 100, which is equal to 300,000 votes. So step one, we found out the number of votes totally polled in this election. Step two, we need to find out the margin of defeat, which is 12% is the total votes, which is 12 upon 100 into total votes, which is equal to 300,000. Cancel the two zeros. We have 12 into 3,000. 36,000 votes is the margin of defeat for party R. Quickly summarize the second method in a printed form. Got the total number of votes to be equal to 300,000 by equating 44% to be equal to 132,000. Having found the total number of votes, we found out the margin of victory, margin of victory for party D and margin of defeat for party R to be equal to 12 percentage of 300,000, which is 36,000 votes. Choice D is the correct answer. For your leave, two things. Sign up as a trial user at wzkwo.in slash core. It's one of the most comprehensive online GMAT course. Get started with a free topic, statistics and averages. Build momentum to your GMAT preparation. Subsequently, pay up and unlock the remaining topics. Lastly, subscribe to the channel youtube.com slash Vizaco and spread the word among your friends who are preparing for GMAT. You may also choose to join this channel as a member for a small monthly fee and enjoy member-only perks that come with it and will help you boost your GMAT preparation.